Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss a very important novel by Henry Fielding which is Joseph Andrews. We need to note that this is actually a satire, actually making fun of Richardson's Pamela. That way we need to know. And we can see Richardson's Pamela is mostly concerned with a woman who is actually uh, maintaining his virtue until the end of the novel. That kind of way it is written. And uh, it is like he, she is actually resisting the advances of Mr. B. And finally when Mr. B agrees to marry Pamela, he will finally uh, she will finally accept the proposal so that way it is and that actually uh, created too much criticism among the people like, like there was criticisms like uh, the lady was actually playing a trick to mr b for getting married that kind of criticisms were, were there during that time and actually henry fielding also did not like that uh, novel pamela so because of that to make fun of the novel pamela he created a male character who is like that pamela who is actually resisting the advances of mrs lady booby so that kind of way, some kind of uh, role reversal happens here. And because of that, many problems this uh, Andrews, Joseph Andrews have to face and many adventures he undergoes. Finally, uh, the novel ends in a good manner. So it's more like a burlesque, we can say. It is also a satire upon the uh, system also that we also we can see. So we will, regarding that, we will discuss in this video lecture. <laughs> So when we examine this literary work, Joseph Andrews, we need to note that the novel was written in 1742 after the Licensing Act of 1737. So what happened during the Licensing Act is uh, because of the satirical kind of writings, the government during that time was not able to rule properly because many satirical kind of dramas were performed and people were becoming aware of the corrupt situation of the government systems. And Henry Fielding is one among them who will uh, create satir satirical dramas. So because of that reason, uh, the Prime Minister Horace Walpole actually introduced this licensing act and this Henry Fielding is one among the targeted ones who should stop writing the play. So that means in 1737, the licensing act actually explained that before a play is presented, it should get the approval from the government that there is nothing which is talking against the government. That kind of system was there. Nowadays we have for movie, for movies we have censoring. So just like that, the Licensing Act was actually firstly introduced in 1737. And because of this reason, we can see that the uh, dramatic career of Henry Fielding ended during that time because uh, the most of his plays were satirical plays and without that, he was not able to write the plays. So that way it is. So what he did was, he cleverly get into a new art form which is the novel form. And through novel, he continued criticizing the government. You should know that for novels, there were no censoring during that time. So effectively, his satirical kind of ideas, he actually depicted through his novels. And 1742, this 1742 novel is the first novel by him, which is Joseph Andrews. So Joseph Andrews, when we talk about, it is mostly a reaction against the uh, novel of Richardson, which is Pamela. So we need to note that the satirical kind of elements we can see in his novels and also in his dramas and licensing act. Uh, brought end to his dramatical career and after that he come to the novel and also we should note that Joseph Andrews is actually uh, a person who is actually a keen observer of men and manners he actually depicted in great detail the uh, human life and how it worked he also held an important position in the society during that time but because of his close observation he found out that there are many things that he cannot accept in the society there were many hypocritic elements in the society during that time because of this reason he, through his novels, with the satirical writing, he tried to impart many kind of ideas to the people which need to be changed. So it is more like a revolutionary movement through the novel form, we can say. So apart from Joseph Andrews, Henry Fielding also wrote novels like Jonathan the Wild, Tom Jones and also Amelia. And among them, Tom Jones is the most important, we can see. And also Joseph Andrews too. So today, regarding the novel Joseph Andrews, we will discuss in detail. So the novel Joseph Andrews, as I have talked before, is actually a parody of Richardson's novel Pamela. And we can see the main character is Joseph Andrews, who is a male servant working in Lady Booby's home. Actually, Lady Booby is actually short formed as Mrs. B, like we see Mr. B in Pamela. Just like that, this Lady Booby attracts, gets attracted towards his male servant, who is Joseph Andrews. Joseph Andrews is supposedly told as the brother of Pamela, who is present in the novel Pamela of Samuel Richardson. That way, a connection is maintained and a parodical kind of setting or depiction is given by uh, Henry Fielding in Joseph Andrews we can see and uh, in the beginning we can see Lady Booby gets attracted to Joseph Andrews and she will try to have sexual advances towards Joseph Andrews but due to his morality he will avoid that 
So because of this reason, Lady Booby gets much upset and angry and sent him out of the apartment or the castle. So that way, because of maintaining his virtue, he had to suffer a lot and he had to go out from there. Then he meets people like Parson Adams and also we can see there is also a lover for Joseph Andrews who is Fanny. So uh, during the beginning, there will be a confusion uh, arising between this Fanny and Joseph Andrews and some way they are actually uh, coming towards the rim of breakup that way. Uh, but finally, during the climax of the novel, we can see all of them get united and everything will fall into place. But the way of depiction is the highlight in the novel, we can say. So uh, actually, in a periodical manner, the readers will understand that actually the writer Henry Fielding is making fun of the novel Pamela written by Samuel Richardson. And also we should note that there are contextual elements also in the novel because the neoclassical time period, neoclassical and Victorian between that time this novel is written, 1742 it is, which is end of the neoclassical period we can say, second half of the neoclassical period. During that time, so there are many things that was happening in the society that need change also those kind of satirical things. So here Joseph Andrews can be, uh, will become like more like a rebel. In Tom Jones also this happens. Tom Jones is in an extreme form of rebellion. So by depicting characters like this, uh, Henry Fielding is trying to show that there are many things that to, need to be changed in the society and readers are given an idea regarding there are some things that need to be changed or look into. So that kind of way, just like in drama, the way he depicted the satirical elements, he also continued to depict the same satirical kind of uh, writing style in novel form also we can see and we can see while this lady booby actually sent him out of the house joseph andrews had to face many encounters many problems uh, he was actually robbed by robbers and he had nothing and parson adams will help him and uh, many many problems he had to face and finally everything goes well in the novel that's how the plot line of the novel is so you should read the primary material i am just giving an outline of the novel how the summary is and after that we will discuss the major themes of the novel so that you will get an idea for writing the examination. So while talking about the features of Fielding's novels, we can see that it's always using authorial narrative voice. That means the narrative voice is actually directly told by the author. The author directly talks about the characters and the story and the happenings in the novel we can see. So authorial narrative voice is actually specifically a writing style of uh, Henry Fielding we can see. And apart from that, we should also note that the novel contains too many satirical elements. Satire means like uh, in a comic or funny or humorous manner, writer will uh, create situations that readers will understand that these things are actually relatable to the present situation of the society too. So satire will be much helpful for the uh, audience also or the readers also to bring change into the society. That way satire is actually an important element of Henry Fielding as I have talked earlier itself. So satire abounds everywhere in these novels and especially this Joseph Andrews, Tom Jones, etc. where that rebellious kind of tendency is more seen, we can say. Because society need to change. So most of the characters of Henry Fielding is actually more kind of rebellious characters who does not like many of the systems in the society and which need change. So that way indirectly, he is actually injecting those kinds of ideas to the readers, we can see. And also Henry Fielding believed in the educational function of the novel. That means uh, the novel should give some kind of quality content or some kind of idea to the readers, some kind of education, knowledge to the readers, that kind of idea uh, Henry Fielding believed in because uh, readers should get some kind of new aspect which Henry Fielding provided them. And also we can see that the characters, mostly the protagonists, they will undergo a development or a change. So for example, Henry Joseph Andrews, at the beginning he is more like an innocent person maintaining the virtue, later he had to go uh, across many encounters and he will learn, he will get more life experience by robbing, by have to surviving at his hard times, etc. And in Tom, Tom Jones also. And in Tom Jones also, we can see the same. He is a rogue who also had to face many problems. So, generally when we speak, this Henry Fielding's novels have a uh, educational function, we can see. That's an important aspect of the novel. And also we can see that his writing style is familiar and easy, but also vivid and descriptive, we can say. He will explain the things in great detail, with great graphical detail, we can say. And his writing style is also more musical and rhythmical. So in that case, readers will easily understand what he is talking about and very simple kind of language he is using. Even now, if you read that, it will get a clearer picture. It is not like uh, reading the Middle English dramas of William Shakespeare. It's not like that. It is still 
reader friendly kind of language henry fielding uses that is also an important writing aspect of henry fielding we should say and also his command regarding the language is also notable so we need to note that henry fielding's joseph andrews is actually a parody of the novel pamela by samuel richardson and in that uh, we can see a virtuous girl is actually maintaining her moral values and finally the uh, novel will end in a good manner but many of the people did it like the plot structure and because of that reason uh, as a reaction to that joseph andrews was written by henry fielding and in that instead of pamela a male servant is actually used and we can see lady boobies advances he will reject and because of that reason he have to go out of his home and because of this reason he had to face many many problems also many encounters he had to come across and finally everything is solved and the play will end in a very good manner we can say so that way the novel will end so that's about the major aspects of the novel joseph andrews by henry fielding i hope that you uh, understood the aspects you should also read the primary material of this novel so that you will get a clearer picture and also an experience it's more like an experience it, uh, you should take two three days to read the primary material and after that you will get a clearer enriching kind of value also with every literary work we can say so that is very important you should read the primary material so that's all for today's video uh, i hope that you liked the video lecture you can also comment any kind of subject areas if you like to discuss so i will be posting the video next time okay that's all for today's video thank you and have a nice day